Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reacting to apparently the craziest dictator in the history of the earth. I don't know how true that statement is because there has been so many crazy dictators and crazy rulers throughout history. But yeah, please don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy the content, comment on what you see next and subscribe for more content. Let's see how true this statement is. Freedom is something we all thrive on, but throughout history, there have been numerous people who have tried to interfere with human liberty. Some were successful, yeah. others weren't. But one ego-driven lunatic drove his nation into an endless downward spiral, causing the death and suffering of millions. Mao Zedong was the chairman of the Communist Party of China, and he ruled from 1945 until his death about 30 years later. His ideology was based how when they said the craziest dictator i thought it was going to be something far far away far back maybe in the 11th hundred or maybe even bce but this is not even what 80 years ago damn it's crazy it's based on leninism and marxism and was supposed to close the gap between the lower and middle class and make everyone economically equal while he was somewhat successful at getting rid of the lower class, he didn't exactly achieve it in the way people would have liked. First, he forced poor Chinese farmers to switch from farming to making steel in their backyards, which is basically impossible. He also believed sparrows were causing agricultural losses because they were eating planted seeds, so he ordered everyone to kill all of these birds by any means. However, Someone forgot to tell him that sparrows also ate locusts. Locusts are grasshoppers that feast on grains, and the only thing preventing them from swarming the fields were the sparrows. As wow. the sparrows were killed... This is crazy because you never know. You can't see a small creature that you dislike, and that creature has its own benefit that is benefiting the earth. Wow. I would have never known or even thought about that. But it makes sense. There has to always, there has to always been, been, there has to be balance always. It's crazy. Yes, they eating the plants. Maybe what the farmers are farming, they are eating from it. But at the same time, they are saving the farmers from having to deal with those creatures. Killed off, the grasshoppers received a free pass to the Chinese fields, and so began the plague. Peasants had to give huge amounts of their harvest to the government. So after the government took its cut, the farmers were left with almost nothing, since there was hardly anything to begin with. This resulted in 38 million people starving to death in less than three years. Wow. Ironically, this policy was referred to as the Great Leap Forward. Most dictators... Wait a minute. 38 million people starved to death. Isn't that more people that died during World War One? and close to the number of people who died during World War II. 38 million people in three years. Tater. From one single country. Just believe they are superior to their people and they don't like receiving advice from anyone. That's why it surprised everyone when he launched a campaign asking all the intellectuals of China to send him letters with constructive criticism of his system, as long as it mm. offered advice and solutions to past problems. Sounds fair, right? Mm -hmm. Well, after receiving millions of letters, his ego was so hurt that he went back on his word and decided to launch a campaign against those critics. The luckier critics were only forbidden to write ever again or forced to get re-educated. The less lucky ones were sent to labor camps or even executed. Even some of the well-renowned members of his own party started to doubt his questionable policies. So he retaliated by banishing them from their homes. Eventually, you know what I will never understand? How people like the people who are serving him, the people in his party, the people who are close to him, his army who are ex ex uh, executing all those orders. How do they not see that he's a madman? He is going crazy. How do they, how do they not think about stopping him? And they let him do whatever he wants. He is a single person. I would never understand that. Eventually, he started a war against all intelligent people 
because he believed that he was the only intelligent person to ever walk the earth and nobody else could ever be on his level. Damn. Calling yourself intellectual became a direct insult to him. He said that anyone else who claims to be as smart was a direct threat to the government. So he started closing down universities and sent professors and students to work in labor camps so they could also get re-educated. And the fun doesn't stop there. In 1994, his personal... How do you... How did all the Chinese people, especially those people close to him, let him do all of these things without reacting or doing anything? Literally, one single servant could have poisoned him to death or do something, a guard or anything. This is crazy. The doctor published a book which takes us deeper into the dictator's personal life. According to the book, Mao never bathed, brushed his teeth, or washed his hands. He stopped having sex with his wife in the late 60s and started sleeping with young, often underage girls instead because he believed that having sex with virgins would prolong his life. He ended up catching an STD by a parasite called trichomoniasis. This disease usually didn't cause any harm to the male carriers. However, it definitely caused a lot of pain to female carriers. Oh. Since he was a sociopath, he didn't mind spreading it and infecting hundreds of women. Instead of being enraged, the infected women actually viewed it as a badge of honor and celebrated. Wow. And if that isn't bad enough, many of their modern day descendants are still so brainwashed that they believe Mao Zedong was a hero and they think it's unacceptable for you to say a single bad word about him. Wait, do you still have Chinese people who think this guy is a hero? And I was here thinking about how they could let him do whatever he wants. I mean, he had already been washed. Let me know if you think about that because Hitler was a single person who made an entire country, an entire race believe that they were better than everyone else. So it's totally possible. This narcissistic man showed us how easy it is to manipulate the masses and proved that a single person can destroy the most populated country on earth. This is crazy and the crazier part is that these people still think that he's a hero. You don't even have the, 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 the opportunity to say anything to him after all that he done. No. This can be true. Are there, please, if you know in the comments, let me know. Are there still people in China who think that this guy is a hero after all that he's done? Imagine like having sex with women and you know you're going to infect them and you take that as a badge of honor and you kill all those people, you, you close universities. This is crazy.